Is Chani the best astrology app? Hi, my name is Bia. You're watching the Elm Shopping Network channel, and today I'll be giving you my thoughts on the Chani astrology app. The face of the Chani app is Chani Nicholas, so let's just go right into some facts about Chani and her app. Chani is a New York Times bestseller with her book, you were born for this, Astrology for Radical Self-Acceptance. She is also the host of Astrology of the Week Ahead podcast. The Chani app launched in 2020 with the intention of merging meditation, mindfulness, and astrology into one app. The horoscopes and birth charts that are on the app are written by Chani and her team of astrologers. The app provides personalized readings based on your birth chart with a focus on your rising or ascendant sign. The Chani app uses traditional astrology and the whole house sign system. They focus on your ascendant or rising sign instead of your sun sign. This means that in terms of content in your readings, your ascendant sign is the primary, your sun sign is the secondary, and your moon comes in third in terms of importance. This might be a little different for people. Um, usually you Google your birthday, figure out what your sun sign is, then you go on to an astrology app or website and you just look at daily horoscopes for your sun sign. It appears that people have asked for this sun sign focused content and they mentioned that they are working on this option in future versions of the app. The app also has a huge focus on mental health and meditation and has features such as daily affirmations, journal prompts, guided meditation, altar suggestions, rituals, just a lot of stuff. There's just a lot of stuff on this app. My favorite feature of the paid version is the personalized weekly readings. You also have access to the Astrology of the Week Ahead podcast. But the personalized weekly readings really focuses in on where the astrology is happening in your chart. So it's much more specific and personalized for you. Honestly, the app has so many features that I was not able to check everything out fully. I did listen to some guided meditations, but I'm not really a meditation kind of person. So that didn't really hit for me. I read through some journal prompts. And I thought, you know, maybe if I had some more time with the paid version that I would really branch out and try out these new things like the ritual and altar suggestions and maybe even the journal prompts. But I just did not have enough time for that in my day to day. In terms of features, the app is really giving you a lot here. So I assume that there is quite a diverse group of people using this app. To me, the app is not really usable in the free format. There's really just not that much that you can do without being prompted to subscribe. You do have access to your chart, but you're not really able to read what it all means. You do have access to your horoscope and you do have access to the astrology of the week ahead podcast, but those things are also available on the Chani website and the podcast is available where podcasts are casted and on YouTube. So, if you're like me and you don't really have much space ever on your phone, the free app might not really be useful on your phone. Also, the app is only currently available for iPhone users, but they say on their website that they're working on an Android version. To look at the sustainability of this company, I had to zoom out of the app itself and look at what they offer in terms of products on their website. Each item has a product detail description that explains what each item is made out of. So I looked at the planners that they offer. For the planners, they claim to use recycled paper, vegetable based ink, and the planner, including the stickers and the spiral part are completely recyclable. And that's just one example. It looks like they're pretty transparent about that kind of information. So I feel like that's a really good sign. The app was built by Annie Cannons, which is a development team that trains survivors of human trafficking to become coders and software engineers. So that is who is behind building this app. 
The Chani app also donates 5% of the revenue to Freeform, a nonprofit organization that supports survivors of human trafficking and gender-based violence. The CEO and founder of this nonprofit is actually Chani's wife, Sonia Passi. Chani actually has their employment benefits package information available on their website, so you can take a look at what kind of benefits they offer their employees. There are some stuff on there that I have never seen before, like a menstruation leave and a personal growth stipend. I would be really interested to know what it's like to work for Chani. All of the audio portions of the app have transcriptions. So your personalized reading come with transcription, the week ahead podcast comes with a transcription, and then there's also a yearly forecast that is broken up into quarters, and those also have transcripts. They state in their company mission that they want to make astrology and its wisdom more accessible. So I imagine and expect that they will be rolling out more inclusive features in the future. Currently, the paid version of the app is $11.99 a month, and that is if you're not taking advantage of some sort of promotion that's going on. I think that there are a lot of features on the app that make it worth this price point, but I personally didn't use all of the features. So to me personally, it feels a little bit steep. I do really enjoy the parts of the app that I used. So I really hope that they consider rolling out a tiered subscription system that maybe breaks apart some of the features for example, breaking out some of the spirituality, altar suggestions, rituals, and breaking apart some of the guided meditation, daily affirmations, and the astrology stuff into different tiers and maybe one big complete set so that it makes it not only more affordable, but kind of catered to the different type of person that might be using this app. Personally, I would love to just be able to listen to my personalized weekly readings and have access to my chart and really understand the transitions that are going on. But I could leave, you know, some of the journal prompts and the guided meditation stuff. On that note, I have not encountered another app that is quite like the Chani app. Most apps that I have used are focused on your sun sign and give you daily, weekly, or monthly horoscopes. They have those like love compatibility things as well, but nothing that really caters to your chart quite like Chani does. If you know an app that compares, let me know in the comments. I would love to check out some competitors for the Chani app. The app is great. It works really well. I've never even had any loading issues with it. And that's pretty impressive considering how many features are on the app. The app is very bold. It has a very distinct style. Um, it's really memorable, even if you don't like the style, you're definitely going to know when it's Chani related. Overall, the Chani app is a great way to explore mindfulness and gain insight into how the astrology is affecting you personally. It feels really like a curated lifestyle app more than it does an astrology app to me. The app is definitely for folks who are interested in developing more self-care routines and really learning about astrology in like a positive way. Even when the astrology is a little bit daunting, Chani and the team does a great job of keeping it positive and not scaring you. I absolutely buy what Chani is selling. I love their look and I love their tone. They're just very positive and affirming. I was able to take the paid version for a spin because they were doing a promotion for the Saturn return. I hear from friends that these sort of freebies and promotions are actually thrown out quite a bit. So if you're interested in checking out the app, I would keep an ear out for that. Again, I really hope that they roll out some sort of a subscription tiered program so that it really becomes more accessible to different people in terms of price, but also catering to the different types of people that I imagine are using the app. So the mindfulness focused, the astrology focused, and the spiritual focused folks. I know that it all kind of really goes well together, but I do think that in terms of features, it could be broken up a little bit so that you can include more people um, trying out the app. Between all the content that they provide and the benefits that they give their employees, 
and the fact that they donate 5% of their revenue to Freeform, I think that you can feel pretty good about where your money goes if you are paying for this app. What is your favorite astrology app? Let me know in the comments. If you'd like this video, please like and subscribe so I can continue to make reviews for you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.